do you call them? They're heating coils. It does not have ignition coils. What are they called? It does. It doesn't have. The tractor doesn't have the uh, ignition warmer coils. What are they called? Flow plugs. Bonjour, mes amis. Welcome to Survey Homestead again. I thought I'd do a quick intro. This is the video that led me to finally decide to take the injection pump apart on the old farm all tractor with the German D310 engine. Uh, so hope you enjoy, hope it helps somebody. It's kind of warm outside right now. It's late March and it's already in the mid eighties. It's just, man, it's summer, bam, just summer. But um, take care, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see y'all later. Yeah, so I was just being a little silly. Of course, it's supposed to be a nice a mist, a good spray coming out of there uh, with, with great force and nothing. So that was the final step that made me realize this is the injection pump. I mean, I did everything. I checked the check valve at the bottom of the fuel tank a long time ago. I replaced a line that looked a little questionable. Um, I changed the fuel filters twice. I took the whole tank out, put a chain in it, shook it around and dumped it out and cleaned it. I mean, you know, I changed the air filter. I tried with no air filter. Um, I adjusted the settings on the run, start, kill shaft and on the throttle shaft. I had taken the injectors apart and cleaned them and checked them. It would run, but it was super smoky. And this is still frustrating. And now I think it was because the only way diesel was getting through the injectors was on the intake stroke. As the pistons came down, each one came down to take in air. I think it was it was drawing in a little droplet of diesel and then compressing that diesel and then exploding it inefficiently and incompletely, thereby causing unburned diesel fumes to come out uh, on the on the next exhaust stroke um, so it was enough to run like it was it was drawing diesel in instead of that diesel being squirted in as a mist but I think that's the only way it was running really it wasn't responding to throttle hardly at all the governor was delayed so if I hit a clump of thick grass when I was cutting with the uh, bush hog it would speed up a little but it wouldn't really speed up until after i hit that clump of grass so it was um yeah it was bad it, it took several squirts of starter spray to get it started so the starter spray is is okay on a tractor like this it does not have glow plugs so it's okay to squirt some ether or starter fluid in there in fact it has this old original canister and there was a button you could press and an electric solenoid would go and it would squirt. And then there was a metal line that went all the way around into the air intake pipe. And so it was made to give a little squirt of ether to start it up, at least on cold days. Um, so anyway, that's what I had to do just to get it to run. And I mean, it killed mosquitoes because it was smoking like crazy, as you can see. But now I know that the pump is simply not pumping. And so all of this has led me to start taking the pump apart and I'm putting those videos out as I can. And I'm leaning towards the relief valve area. It's kind of like this little slider, I think. And when it's here, uh, it allows the fuel to just squirt back into the body of the pump. And when it's here, it kind of closes off and makes a compression chamber, I guess, or a pressure chamber so that the diesel squirts where it needs to go. And um, I think that's where we're at. And I'm gonna find that inside the pump and clean it up and see if it's sliding where it needs to be or whatever, or if it's stuck in the 
open position where all the pressurized diesel is not getting sent. It's just going back into the body. I'm not sure. Um, so thanks to a viewer for that. Actually, I viewed, I found a video just from this year, or a couple of months ago. There's hardly anything about this tractor out there. And so I found a guy, um, his, his channel is called Salam Sehud. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'll put it down in the description. He was working on a four cylinder one from a bulldozer, but it's the same, it's the same Bosch injector. It's just a little smaller. And I learned a lot by watching his. He actually had to fabricate a couple of parts for his, but it just made me realize, oh, somebody else is brave enough to take this bad boy apart and work on it. And he put it back together like it was nothing. And he explained it well, and I learned a lot, and I commented on his video, and he commented back. And so it, it gave me uh, a renewed vigor on getting this thing working again. So uh, I appreciate him. Thanks, man. So that's where we are. Watch out for those videos. Please subscribe if you like our stuff. So this is about tractors. We have the little Yanmar tractor that's still in limbo. We have gardening. We have goats and sheep and chickens. Uh, and just family things, sometimes fishing and stuff like that, hunting. So thanks for joining us on Survey Homestead. I am Dustin, and we appreciate your support. Please subscribe and click that like button and the notification bell so you know every time we make some content. Au revoir, mes amis.